Hey everyone, welcome back to Chapters Create Character. I'm your host, Legend Moore, and today we're going to be reading another scary story time with you guys. If you're scared, grab a flashlight, but let's tune in for a spooky night. A child? Chris uttered a silent gasp, staring in horror as Lindy lifted him out of the dumpster. She could see his face, frozen in a wide-eyed stare. His brown hair stood stiffly on top of his head. He seemed to be wearing some sort of gray suit. His arms and legs dangled lifelessly. Lindy! Chris called, her throat tight with fear. Is it? Is he? Alive? Her heart pounding. Chris started to run to her sister. Lindy was cradling the poor thing in her arms. Is he alive? Chris repeated breathlessly. She stopped short when her sister started to laugh. No, not alive, Lindy called gleefully. And then Chris realized that it wasn't a child. After all, a dummy. She shrieked. Lindy held it up. A ventriloquist dummy, she said. Someone threw him out. Do you believe it? He's in perfect shape. It took Lindy a while to notice that Chris was breathing hard, her face bright red. Chris, what's your problem? Oh, wow. Did you think he was a real kid? Lindy laughed scornfully. No, of course not. Chris insisted. Lindy held the dummy up and examined his back, looking for the string to pull to make his mouth move. I'm a real kid, Lindy made him say. She was speaking in a high-pitched voice through gritted teeth, trying not to move her lips, dumb Chris said, rolling her eyes. I am not dumb. You're dumb. Lindy made the dummy say again in a high, squeaky voice. When she pulled the string in his back, the wooden lips moved up and down, clicking as they moved. She moved her hand up his back, and found the control to make his painted eyes shift from side to side. He's probably filled with bugs, Chris said, making a disgusted face. Throw him back, Lindy. No way, Lindy insisted, rubbing her hand tenderly over the dummy's wooden hair. I'm keeping him. She's keeping me? She made the dummy say. Chris stared suspiciously at the dummy. His brown hair was painted on his head. His blue eyes moved only from side to side and couldn't blink. He had bright red painted lips curved up into an eerie smile. The lower lip had a chip on one side so that It didn't quite match the upper lip. The dummy wore a gray double-breasted suit over a white shirt collar. The collar wasn't attached to a shirt. Instead, the dummy's wooden chest was painted white. Big brown leather shoes were attached to the ends of his thin, dangling legs. My name is Slappy! 
when you made the dummy say, moving his grinning mouth up and down. Dumb, Chris repeated, shaking her head. Why slappy? Come over here, and I'll slap you, Wendy made him say, trying not to move her lips. Chris groaned. Are we going to ride our bikes to the playground or not, Wendy? Afraid poor Robbie misses you? Wendy made Slappy asked. Put that ugly thing down, Chris replied impatiently. I'm not ugly, Slappy said in Wendy's squeaky voice, sliding his eyes from side to side. You're ugly! Your lips are moving, Chris told Lindy. You're a lousy ventriloquist. I'll get better, Lindy insisted. You mean you're really keeping it? Chris cried. I like Slappy. He is cute. Lindy said, cuddling the dummy against the front of her t-shirt. I'm cute! He ma- she made him say. And you're ugly. Shut up! Chris snapped to the dummy. You shut up! Slappy replied in Lindy's tight, high-pitched voice. What do you want to keep him for? Chris asked, following her sister toward the street. I've always liked puppets, Lindy recalled. Remember those marionettes I used to have? I played with them for hours at a time. I made up long plays with them. I always played with the marionettes, too. Chris remembered. You got the strings all tangled up, Lindy said, frowning. You weren't any good at it. But what are you trying to do with this dummy? Chris demanded. I don't know. Maybe I'll work up an act, Lindy said thoughtfully. Shifting Slappy to her other arm, I'll bet I can earn some money with him. You know, up here at kids' birthday parties, put on shows. Happy birthday! She made Slappy declare. Hand over some money! Chris didn't laugh. The two girls walked along the street in front of their house. Lindy cradled Slappy in her arms, one hand up his back. I think he's creepy, Chris said, kicking a large pebble across the street. You should put him back in the dumpster. No way. Lindy insisted. No way, she made Slappy say, shaking his head, his glassy blue eyes moving from side to side. I'll go put you in the dumpster. Slappy is sure is mean, Chris remarked, frowning at Lindy. Lindy laughed. Don't look at me, she teased. Complain to Slappy. Chris scowled. You're jealous, Lindy said, because I found him and you didn't. Chris started to protest, but they both heard voices. Chris looked up to see the two Marshall kids from down the block running toward them. They were really cute, red-headed kids that Lindy and Chris sometimes babysat for. What's that? Amy Marshall asked, pointing at Slappy. Does he talk? Her younger brother, Ben, asked, staying several feet away, an uncertain expression on his freckled face. Hi, I'm Slappy! Lindy made the dummy call out. She cradled Slappy in one arm, making him sit up straight, his arms dangling at his sides. So where'd you get him? Amy asked. Do his eyes move? Ben asked, still hanging back. Do your eyes move? 
Slappy asked Ben. Both Marshall kids laughed. Ben forgot his reluctance. He stepped up and grabbed Slappy's hand. Ouch, not so hard! Slappy cried. Ben dropped the hand with a gasp. Then he and Amy collapsed a gleeful laughter. <laughs> Lindy made Slappy laugh, tilting his head back and opening his mouth wide. The two kids thought that was a riot. They laughed even harder, pleased by the responses the ki- she was getting. Lindy glanced at her sister. Chris was sitting on the curb, cradling her head in her hands, a dejected look on her face. She's jealous, Lindy re- re- realized. Chris sees that the kids really like Slappy and that I'm getting all the attention. She's totally jealous. I'm definitely keeping Slappy. Lindy told herself, secretly pleased at her little triumph. She stared into the dummy's bright blue painted eyes. To her surprise, the dummy seemed to be staring back at her. A twinkle of sunlight in his eyes, his grin wide and knowing. <laughs>